here's the other thing, and I, 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 I'll come back to it because I, I believe I said it on Wednesday. The games that Frederick Anderson doesn't play, that they're not throwaway games. Garrett Sparks is in the NHL for a reason, regardless of what, you know, if you believe McElhinney, I, I saw a little bit of your bit yesterday, you guys, you know, should he have kept McElhinney, all of that. They kept Sparks. Sparks has to win games. So if, if Garrett Sparks gets a start, well, it's not going to happen in Edmonton, but say it's next week, he, he can't just go in there and, and be a jersey filler. He's <clears> got to be, he's got to give them two points. I think what we were talking about, Jamie, yesterday was if Babcock had a choice. Yeah. Because he loved McElhaney. Like he was he his, did. McElhaney like, was, I mean, he's a veteran pro that worked really well with Freddie. Exactly. I'm not suggesting that Sparks doesn't work very well with Freddie, but there's a different layer. Freddie's a veteran goaltender that relies, I'm sure, on another voice in the room. Garrett Sparks is new to the league. So he's not going to be able to go to Freddie at a TV timeout and go, you know, my experience in that left corner on the Zamboni room or Zamboni door, you got to be careful of that bounce. Whereas a guy like McElhenney has played in in all the buildings, he's Been seen everything. Forever. He's kind of he, he he that the value of a, having a veteran backup compared to a young. Uh, would I've made the choice? I, I mean, we talked about it. Sparks had done nothing to not earn a right the National Hockey League level. That, that's the one thing that can't be forgotten. I mean, he you know, he was a top goalie in the AHL last year. Different story, different team, all of that. But how he progresses, he needs to to take that next step and be a trusted backup. And and it's not just... As of right now, it hasn't happened. And the, the yeah. thing is, you know, you, you can... You can earn whatever you want. It doesn't mean you're warned. You're, you're not guaranteed anything in Correct. life. And the right. fact is, you know, you said it before. There are a lot of guys in the American Hockey League that are lighting that league up and Brilliant. winning awards and look great. The reason they're not in the NHL isn't because they haven't earned the opportunity. It's because scouts, and this is what they're paid for, watch them and say, I can't picture him translating to success yeah. in the NHL. You said it yesterday, and I agreed. I was actually watching the bit, and I agreed. Because that's what scouts get paid for, is how it translates at the National Hockey League. There are guys... Um, I'm trying to – I've drawn a blank on his name. Uh, it'll come to me. There was a dominant AHL player. Dominant. Steve Maltese. I don't even know if you've heard well, that remember, name. You know, here, I'll give you a more recent one. T.J. Brennan. Okay, T.J. Yeah. Brennan, every year, best defenseman, defenseman in the league, all-star, point of play. game, and everyone knew it. They're like, this guy <clears> can't play in the NHL. But, but you're Jeremy right. Brocco's creeping up towards the same thing. How it translates to the NHL and how you're slotted, that's, that's ultimately – on on the player if they get an opportunity. But that's my point is Garrett Sparks has to be good when he gets an opportunity.